It's often been said in many different ways that the problem or challenge that we're facing is not really the problem. It's the tremendous amount of overthinking we do about the problem that creates the greatest amount of upset and is really the problem that we're facing. In fact, it reminds me of one of a, a line from one of my favorite movies of all time when one of the characters said, you're using too many mind. Hi everyone, Chris Natsky here with Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching with your Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week. One of my favorite movies of all time is The Last Samurai. If you haven't seen it before, it's a story about a Civil War captain, Nathan Algren, who gets captured by samurai, uh, the great samurai in Japan. And uh, Captain Algren is played by Tom Cruise and, and he is brought into the encampment of the head of the samurai, Quasimodo. And during that time, he, he really struggles with uh, being captured, but over time, he begins to assimilate to the culture and really starts to find himself. And in one poignant scene, he's doing a sparring match with one of the top samurai masters, and quite honestly, he's not doing too well. And uh, he's thrown to the ground yet again, and as he's standing up, his, um, his new friend, uh, uh, Mabu. Tata, which is Kazumoto's son, whispers in his ear, you use too many mind. And Algren looks at him and he says, what do you mean? He says, he says, you think about the person in front of you. You think about the sword. You think about the people watching. You use too many mind. Use one mind. And Algren seems like it, it resonates with him and he goes back into the sparring match and he begins to hold his own. Now he eventually succumbs to the superior samurai master but what he learns in that moment is is that when he allows his mind to be distracted and scattered he's not as powerful as when he's focusing on one thing in front of him and how many times in our lives are we dealing with the same thing so many distractions so many things coming at us from so many times in so many directions but when we really focus and we get centered inside of ourselves in our minds and in our hearts that's when we're at our best so i've got three keys here that I use in my life, that I use when I work with my coaching clients and my students that I want to share with you that can help us get to that one mind when life starts to get a little crazy for us. And the first one is to simply breathe. Now you've probably heard this a number of times before, but the fact of the matter is, is our bodies and our minds are really interesting. When we have an upsetting thought, it physiologically has an impact on our body. You see that in the fight, flight, or freeze. Uh, reaction. But interestingly enough, when our bodies are in an agitated state, it impacts our minds. So if we can calm our minds and do something that will calm our minds or calm our bodies, it will impact our minds in a positive way. Now, breathing is, is something that I've, I've learned and I've taught throughout, uh, throughout the years. And one of the most effective ways that I found of calming ourselves down and getting our minds focused is called simple box breathing. It's been done from Tibetan monks all the way to United States Special Forces. And basically what it means is to inhale to the count of four through your nose, hold it for the count of four, then exhale through the mouth like you're breathing through a straw for the count of four, and then holding that breath again for the count of four. So inhale, hold, exhale, hold, and back. And what it does is it allows you to ground yourself and stay present in your mind. So breathing. Number two is to be grounded in our bodies. I don't know about you, but I, I definitely have had times when my mind is racing. I'm sitting in front of a computer trying to get things settled and trying to get a problem solved. And things just start racing for me. But I forget that if I can simply get up and move and get in touch with my body, it has the ability to anchor me. And if I can't stand up, maybe even just relaxing and feeling my body in the chair, right? Uh, or if you can't, can't do that, just simply placing your hand on your heart and getting into your breath at that point. Because what it does is when we anchor in our body, we get into the present moment. And then finally, finally, the next one is to focus on one thing at a time. One thing at a time. I know for myself personally, when I'm dealing with challenges, it's very easy for me to begin to go into the past and think about the mistakes I made that got me to this point, or probably more times than not, worry about the future. And if I don't get this situation handled, what's gonna happen? But more times than not, 
when I allow myself to get out of the past and out of the future and get into the present moment and deal with that one thing that's right in front of me, it allows me to anchor, it allows me to settle, and allows me to move through the challenge in a much more efficient way. So there you have it, my friends. There's three keys for you to be able to overcome having too many mind, getting in touch with your breath, grounding in your body, and focusing on one thing at a time. So that's my little message for you today. I hope you're able to use this this week. As you come upon challenges, whether it's uh, in the work environment, personal environment, whatever it is, take some time and use these three tools and notice how you can get clear in your mind so you can more uh, effectively deal with the challenges in front of you. So if you enjoyed this message, please like, share, comment. And it's been my pleasure as always to share some of my thoughts with you. And uh, this has been Chris Natsky with Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching. And we'll see you next time on the Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week.